Hey guys, welcome to GGB DIY. I'm Sarah. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm bringing you three Halloween crafts that are not only adorable and cute, but are also super easy and fun. So stay tuned. All right, to get started with our first DIY, we're gonna take one of these cute little ghosts that you can find in an eight pack at the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna trace him out on a little piece of black paper because I wanted the eyes and mouth to have a black background. So we're just gonna cut this out real quick with a pair of scissors. And we did paint that ghost white with a Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Next, we're gonna take one of these ornament hats, again, from the Dollar Tree, and we're just gonna fill in that hole with a little bit of hot glue, paint it black. And then we're going to do a faux galvanized look on this metal sign. And I will link my faux galvanized tutorial in the iCards above there so that you can see how I created this galvanized look. All right, so now we're going to put a little glue on our ghost and we're going to glue him to the black paper. I did not have a glue stick, so I am just using this Barely Art Precision Craft Glue that I have on hand, but any glue will work for this. All right, we're gonna take a thin paintbrush. This is just a really fine detail brush and a little bit of the Apple Barrel Elephant Gray color. I just mix it in with a little bit of water to create a more liquidy paint so that I can draw with it. If you have a paint marker, a paint marker will work great for this part of the project. And I'm just gonna go around adding some lines and little dots, just some little details to make this little ghost feel a little more three-dimensional. Adding some little uh, pound signs, as they used to say, or hashtags, as we now say. <laughs> Um, for a little like maybe scuff marks and make him look a little old. And this is just a jelly roll pen. I love these jelly roll pens for paper. And I'm just gonna make some little eyes inside those black holes. Because we gotta have eyes. <laughs> and our little ghosty needs some eyelashes as well. So using that detail brush and a little bit of black paint, I'm going to make some eyelashes. And every little ghost needs some pink cheeks, so I'm just using some chalk to add some cute little pink cheeks to our ghost. Next, we're gonna take our hat and we're just gonna add some decoration to our hat. This is just a gingham ribbon that I picked up at the Dollar Tree in the color orange. And I'm just gonna hot glue that right to the back there. Then taking that white gel pen, I'm gonna go around the outside edge of this hat, just doing some little dashes and dots. You could use a paint marker or a, you know, a detail brush with a bit of paint. I just had this sitting here, so I decided to use this gel pen and it worked just as well. Next, I'm gonna take this Waverly chalk paint in the color lavender, and I'm going to add some little polka dots to our hat. And I'm just using the end of a paintbrush just to create those dots. Don't forget, you don't need fancy tools to do a lot of these crafts and projects. Just Look around your house and see what you have. You know, toothpicks work, um, Q-tips work. You can do all kinds of stuff with just really simple items. 
finishing up our hat, I have this glitter ribbon that I got, I think at Michael's at one point or another, and I'm just going to put a little bit of black over that orange and then create a little bow to go on top. And we'll just secure that with a little bit of hot glue. Now to make our sign, we are going to put our little ghost on there. I just glued the ghost down. I did end up going back and using some fix-all on the back of my ghost just to really secure it down to that galvanized or the faux galvanized metal sign. And then taking these little tiny wood pennant banner pieces that I got from Michaels, I just painted them orange, strung them onto some baker's twine that was also white and orange. And then I'm just gonna secure that right down to my little ghost. And I would suggest doing this before you put your ghost onto your sign. <laughs> Makes it a little easier. So then using my pencil, I'm going to just write out boo. And then I'm going to use that detail, fine detail brush and a little bit of black paint that's been watered down to do the lettering. But if you wanted to, stickers would work really easily here too. And then we're just gonna put our twine back into the sign and then using that red orange gingham ribbon, I am going to create a little bow to go in the corner for our sign, just to add a little bit more. And here is look at how it turned out. I love how this ghosty turned out. I think she's so cute and uh, ready for Halloween. Hey, if you like this DIY and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to hit that red subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos. If you can like and comment and share my video, it helps YouTube to notice me and helps me to grow. Also, here's where you can follow me on other social medias. So for this next DIY, we're going to take one of these boxes that are kind of like a drawer that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. For this first side, we're going to use the Waverly chalk paint in the color lavender. So this project does have quite a bit of painting in it, but I think that you'll be able to follow along just fine. This is the Waverly chalk paint in the color scallion. In the color ink. And I'll leave all the colors that I use in my description box down below, along with all the products that I use. And this is uh, Apple Barrel Spiced Carrot. You actually can't get this color anymore. I absolutely love this color. I'm trying to figure out an alternative to that spiced carrot. <laughs> and then this is the Waverly Chalk Paint in the color white. So now we're gonna go in and add our details. I always use a pencil when I'm adding my details. That way I can maybe erase it if I don't like the direction that my project is going. So I'm just going to create a couple little faces on the sides of these boxes. So when it comes to Halloween decorations, I don't generally put out a whole lot of Halloween decorations. And uh, because I don't really like the spooky side of Halloween, not because I'm, you know, scared of Halloween or anything, but, um, I just prefer the cutesy kind of stuff. So I decided this year that I was going to make some Halloween decorations for my poor children who love Halloween. <laughs> and I thought that I would make some cute little decorations. So that's kind of the direction that my projects are going today. And I'm just going to sit back and let you guys enjoy the painting process here.
Don't forget the details when you're doing DIYs like this. Adding those little bits of highlight and detail really do help your projects come alive and makes them look a little more high end. I love to add these little details. They just make me so happy. Here's a look at how each of the sides of this cube turned out. I think that this will be so fun to put on a little shelf. The girls can change it around when they want to, or it could look super cute on a tear tray. The possibilities are endless as to where you could put this little cube for extra Halloween decorations. So for our third and final DIY, we're going to take one of these wood stakes from the Dollar Tree. I hope you can find these at your Dollar Tree, but if you can't, you can easily create something similar using a little bit of wood that you might have on hand. I painted it with a Waverly plaster. And then I'm gonna use this fan brush and a little bit of the elephant from Waverly to do a little dry brushing to make this sign look a little old. Next, I'm going to sketch in with my pencil this little uh, spider web and spider. Again, using a small detail brush and some watered down uh, chalk paint, I'm going to go over my pencil lines. I'm going to grab a bigger brush for this and I'm going to kind of dab around the outside of my little spider to make him look a little hairy <laughs> give him some little some fur next I'm going to write out the word beware you could definitely use stickers or vinyl for this but I like the hand written effect on this I think that it looks a little more like spooky because <laughs> my handwriting is a little spooky <laughs> Again, going in and adding some little details on our spider. He needed a little smile and some eyeballs. So I'm just using some watered down white chalk paint for that. And then going in and adding some highlights on our lettering here. Then I attach the sign together with some hot glue and then I'm going to take one of these little crates from the Dollar Tree, paint it with the plaster and then do the dry brush with the elephant chalk paint. Next I'm going to take one of these boo ornament signs from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it with the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. Next I'm going in with a paintbrush. This is the end of a paintbrush and I'm dipping it into the scallion color and then I go in with the lavender color and finish it off with a little bit of orange from the apple barrel uh, spice carrot color. Next, I'm going to take some of these wood cutout stickers from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to give these bats a little coat of ink, Waverly chalk paint. Next, we're going to put in a little bit of floral foam in the bottom of our crate here. Hot glue boo onto the front. 
and then stick our steak down in there. Next, I'm going to take some Spanish moss and I'm just going to add it around our steak just to cover up that floral foam. Next, I'm going to take one of these picks from the Dollar Tree. This is just kind of a black flower and purple pumpkin pick that I picked up at the beginning of the season. And I'm just going to cut down some of the elements and place it into our crate. And that is all there is to this project. I think this is so cute. I love how it turned out. And that little spider makes me so happy. So that's all I have for you guys today. Leave me a comment. Let me know which project was your favorite per usual. I love to hear from you guys. And I love to hear what you think about the projects. I hope that you guys all have a happy, healthy, and blessed day. And I will talk to you next time.